Antique tractor lovers recognize Harry Lee as a fellow who really knows how to customize a Farmall tractor. Let's hear about his latest masterpiece. Hello there. My name is Harry Lee. You probably have heard about me. And the reason for building this uh, replica here is due to the fact is, as you know, on tape number one, I built an F triple engine F30. Well, the thing about it was, it was on steel, and uh, I go to a lot of shows, and it was a little unhandy to parade it. So rather than to tear it up and put it on rubber, uh, why, the thing to do is just to build another one. So, then as that was F30, I decided to build one out of F20 and put it on rubber. And uh, with a starter on it and some of the optional equipment we had back there in 1938 and 39 on the F20. So we call this thing the F20. 60. I carried this in the shop piece at a time, started in with the rear end right here, and had to lengthen the frame nine inches, of course. Put it on duels, just fit perfect, and uh, uh, it measured eight feet and three inches from outside to outside, and it weighs about eight. Four, eight, five, eight thousand five hundred, we'll say. So it's, it's something that I can take anywhere I want to go and show it to anybody and drive it to freight, which is, as I said, it has a road gear, it has a starter, it has pedal brakes, and about anything it would want, I guess. It's all 1939 down, except the new cars, and now they were made in Czechoslovakia, by the way, it's seen, I've seen on the side of the tires. Right here is the clutches. Just uh, all I do is uh, pull this back out of the nut, let it go forward, and that lets that pressure plate in up there. And then that engine is ready to go. Here's the spark control, as you're all familiar with. There is the choke, and right here's the governor control. Well, when I get done with that engine, I just uh, pull him out and lock this back there. And that engine then shut him off here. I raise the spark. I'll show you how this all works now in a little bit. I put a car takeoff on it because I can't get to my belt fully. And can't get the belt down through there. I gotta put something there. But anyhow, in case I'd want to put the, something in the car takeoff line on it, I have that already there. So it is an up to date for as far as I'm concerned, it's my it's uh what we call a new old 1995 model. I started in on this January the 1st, 1995. Took me five and a half months with the help of the boy that lives with me. It has an alternator on it. About anything you want, I guess. Now we'll go around over to the side and I'll show you a little bit about the drive line of it. It drives with a single 60 chain right here, as you can see. Uh, runs across the double sprocket on the center engine. And the same was parking down here on the outside. Now, I told you I lengthened this thing nine inches. I lengthened the center frame on the center tractor. The engines have been basically going through. The three brand new rebuilt mags with new coils in them and everything like that. And uh, the center engine, by the way, uh, it's a 39 model F20 engine, and it does have four inch pistons and sleeves in it. And on top of that, it's got a high compression head, which uh, of all the farm I ever owned, I only had just this one head. It stayed around here in the shop for quite a while, and one day I just decided maybe I better use it, because it's a quarter of, a quarter of an inch uh, more compression and use a little bit of spark plug. I come to find out I had something quite rare, and thought, well, this would be a good place to use it. So directly when I fire this thing up, you can sure tell that that center engine is has got it. I don't know how much, but it should turn out a, an awful good pony horse. I think that's all both put out in the first place. You're seeing the carburetor on this side. Got two shut off valves in here, and here again you're looking at the 60 chain goes across there, and, and here's the fender, and that's, as I said, I need it just a little bit more frame length on that center engine to get it all worked right, but that's a bigger and awful close. You're going to slide across here, all these fans, and just setting this as true as can be right across there, right in line like they ought to be, I think. Everything uh, is just as you see it. I'm quite proud of it to turn out the way it did. So here the wheels, all I had to do was just take another set of wheels and, and bolt them right on. I went and bought the 
flexible bolts right here. They're ten and a half inches long. And them is the grade eight bolts. And we got the thick and pull out of them. It just works very good. It's got a 12.4 tire on it, 36. Now I'll get that first part of that center one up for you. Start this center one up. You can watch these here clutches here. And I'll bring them engines in. Then I might take you for a little drive. If you got weak arms like I got, this pin right here, I had to take both hands. So I made an improvement to it this way. It works beautiful because you've got that elbow and you got the hand out there. But just trying to do it this way, it's, it's kind of a job. So that was an improvement. This, this works beautiful. Anybody can work out as long as he got two arms. He's been a victim to shape if he had one or two off. Now we're going to fire up that sermon. Harry fires up the center engine first, then the two on the sides. Sounds like he's got these babies tuned to perfection. Now he'll take us for a short drive to prove that the F-2060 really works. Makes a mighty fine parade vehicle with those rubber tires. Keep up the good work, Harry. I was in the computer to build one of the four engines in it. Well, if I'd done that, I'd have to use F-12 and F-14 stuff in order to hold my width and weight down one thing or another. And I did kind of have it up for a little under hat computer, but uh, I just scratched it out. So, well, I go through F-20 stuff. So, if I was about 30 years younger, I'd, I'd turn out one with four inches on it. It could probably be 12 and 14. So I'll just have to let uh, some of you other guys do it, and you can have a lot of fun out of it. 